All right, this week in Dementia Awareness, Joe Biden was finally bothered to go to Maui. Um, I, I guess he must have found out that there were some Ukrainians there, so he decided to go out to Maui, and he, it, it just provided us with endless fodder. Go ahead and check out this video of him falling asleep in the middle of <laughs> There he is. Pass it out. On Pass on it out in the middle Hunter. of a speech. Whether by the blood with the survivors. or by French. I love it. But falling like asleep. asleep. Now, they argue, his supporters have argued, that he wasn't falling asleep. Now, it's not like we've caught him falling asleep on camera in the middle of meetings about a dozen other times. It's not like there's a track record there or anything. There is. Spoiler alert. It's not like there's a track record there, though, right? It's not like it's a concern that we could even wonder if it was true that the President of the United States fell asleep in the middle of a meeting with survivors of a massive wildfire. Go ahead and watch the video. They, they said he's bowing his head in solemnity. Is that how you pronounce that word, solemnity? I don't know. They said he's bowing his head in solemnity with the victims. Go ahead and you, you watch this video and tell me if anybody else is. Because I don't see it. We are a community that relies on family. He was the only one. Wasn't that nice of him? The only one to bow his head in solemnity with the victims. I love to see that. I'd love to see that. He also provided us with great quotes like this, where he was talking to a dog. Hi, What's the boss's name? I said, how you doing, pal? Oh. He's just surprised that one went by. You guys catch the boots out here? That's some hot ground, man. Some hot ground, man. Now, look, I don't I really don't have a problem with a boss showing up in a stressful situation and trying to provide comic relief. But I want you to apply the same level of criticism you do to Biden that you did to Trump. That's all I want. I think every I thought I think every president should now be criticized to the standard of Trump. If Trump cracked a joke like that, that's all we'd hear about for the next week. The guy shot paper towel rolls like a basketball solid jumper form, by the way. Side note to people in Puerto Rico during the storms. And they crucified him for it. Said he was heartless for doing this. At least he showed up. Right? Well, it, it gets better. Biden wanted the uh, residents of Maui who lost their homes, family members, and livelihoods to know. But he also knows how they felt. Now go ahead and check this, uh, this moment out from one of his speeches. I don't want to compare difficulties, but we have a little sense, Jill and I, away. what it's like to lose a home. Years ago, now 15 years ago, I was in Washington doing Meet the Press. It was a sunny Sunday. And lightning struck at home on a little lake. It's outside of our home, not a lake, a big pond. And hit a wire and came up underneath our home into the heating ducts, the air conditioning duct. To make a long story short, I almost lost my wife my 67 Corvette <laughs> and my cat. But all kidding aside. Not a joke. Guys, I know you lost your homes. I know there's over a thousand people missing. There's hundreds of children missing and the mayor will have people assaulted if they ask him about it. I know that uh, your businesses have been destroyed. I know you may have lost loved ones here. But show a little compassion. Because Joe knows exactly how you feel. Because one time, lightning struck his lake house, one of his properties. Struck his lake house. And it nearly cost him his Corvette. That's, that's, that's lunch bucket Joe, man. The common man couldn't relate to him anymore. Then that sentence, one time lightning struck my beach or my lake house. Sorry, not a beach house. He's a humble man. My lake house and nearly destroyed my Corvette. So I know exactly how you people. F I can't believe he said that. 
Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click the link in the description to get the full episode on Rumble. If you prefer to listen along, you can actually get us on Spotify, Spreaker, and iHeartRadio. You can also go to www.outlawstreamers.com to learn more about not just my show, but tons of other great shows and all the exciting projects they have coming up. Follow my socials at Caleb Isn't Funny on Twitter and Instagram, at Caleb Salvatore Comedy on the Chinese spy app that is TikTok, and be sure to like and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks, and we'll see you every Saturday for brand new episodes of That's Based. Peace.